Shalom, welcome to the Sermon TV. Today we are talking about missing years of Jesus Christ. Jesus' missing years are the years of his life that are not fully depicted in the canonical Gospels of the New Testament. The narratives of Jesus' birth, childhood, and early adulthood up until the age of 30, when he started his public ministry, are found in the Gospels of Matthew and Luke. The biblical account leaves a void between the beginning of Jesus' career and his age of 12, as per Luke's account of him in the temple. As a result, many have begun to wonder and speculate about what transpired in those years, which are frequently referred to as Jesus' lost, hidden, or missing years. Technically speaking, the Gospels of the Bible only offer us a few known ages of Jesus. Luke 2 verses 41 to 52 has the most well-known and widely read account of Jesus' documented age. Jesus is described as being 12 years old in this section of Luke's Gospel, Luke 2 verse 42. Many academics have attempted to estimate Jesus' age over the years, but we cannot be dogmatic. We will learn more about the significance of Jesus' ages in this video. 1. Jesus at the age of 2 Jesus must have been 2 years old or younger when the Magi visited him based on Matthew's account, Matthew 2 verse 16, even though we are not explicitly told that he was 2 years old when they came to visit him. In other words, when Jesus was just 2 years old, the Magi worshipped him. This is noteworthy because it demonstrates that people were aware of Jesus' divinity even throughout his early life, and at the time of his birth. A typical child would not have been revered since only the God who existed in the flesh was worthy of worship. Jesus was two years old when he became the Lord, which proves his deity. 2. Jesus, when he was twelve years old, Jesus visited the temple at the age of 12, Luke 2 verses 41 to 55. Jesus accompanied Mary and Joseph as they traveled to Jerusalem for the Passover feast, as they did every year. Jesus made the decision to stay in Jerusalem rather than continuing on their journey home from there, however, Mary and Joseph were unaware that Jesus had done so. Mary didn't realize Jesus was gone from the group until after several days had passed. Mary and Joseph looked among their relatives and acquaintances for Jesus after realizing he was not with them. They decided to return to Jerusalem where Jesus was after fruitlessly looking for him among their relatives and friends. In the temple, Mary and Joseph discovered Jesus paying attention to and interacting with the teachers, Luke 2 verse 46. Even though Jesus was only 12 years old, the temple instructors were all astounded by his wisdom since he knew so much about God and the Bible. Mary and Joseph were angry with Jesus because they had been searching far and wide for him and had been anxious about him. Mary asked Jesus why he stayed in Jerusalem, to which Jesus responded, Why were you looking for me? Did you not realize I needed to be in my father's house? Luke 2 verse 49. Unfortunately, Jesus' parents did not understand him, Luke 2 verse 50. Jesus obeyed when his parents told him to leave the temple and go home with them, Luke 2 verses 51 to 52. Luke is the only author to include this aspect of Jesus' early life in any of the four Gospels. It's possible that the three other Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and John, opted to omit this period of Jesus' life in order to concentrate on his mature ministry. Uncertainty surrounds the relevance of Jesus' age at the temple. It is impossible for academics to be dogmatic about the reason Jesus' exact age is given in Luke 2 verses 41 to 52. 
It is conceivable that Jesus' age is mentioned because it represents his development and maturity. The significance of Jesus' age at the temple is unclear. It is hard for academics to hold a dogmatic position regarding the explanation for why Luke 2 verses 41 to 52 gives Jesus' exact age. Jesus' age may have been stated because it symbolizes his growth and maturity. Jesus' age is mentioned a few verses after his parents bring him back from Jerusalem and this gives us a small insight as to why. Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man, according to Luke 2 verse 52. Because of the age range association with the Jewish ritual of a bar mitzvah, many people think that Jesus' age is listed in the Bible. Because bar mitzvahs had not yet been invented during the time of Jesus, this is a false assumption. Bar mitzvahs originated and were first created in Europe, not in Jerusalem. The more realistic explanation for why Luke reported Jesus' age in Luke 2 verse 42 is that, as an accurate researcher and historian, he made a conscious effort to record Jesus' precise age. Luke was therefore providing an authentic age of the young Jesus for his gospel when he noted in Luke 2 that Jesus was 12 years old. It is also conceivable that Jesus' age served as a metaphor for the development and maturity he was exhibiting even as a very young child. 3. Jesus as an adult. There aren't many additional ages of Jesus given to us after Luke's account of his 12-year-old age in Luke 2 verse 42. Jesus was likely in his early 30s when he was executed, according to scholars. In other words, save from one instance in Luke 3 verse 23, we are never given any more of Jesus' recorded ages from the time he was 12 years old until his death. In addition to Luke 3 verse 23, Mark 6 verse 3 tells us that Jesus assisted his earthly father in his work as a carpenter. Many people ask Jesus, isn't this the carpenter, as he began to instruct the crowd? Isn't this the brother of Judas, Simon, Joseph, James, and Mary? They were offended by him, as recorded in Mark 6 verse 3. As a result, we are aware that during his adolescent and adult years, Jesus worked as a carpenter under the supervision and guidance of his father, Joseph. Jesus started his public career when he was about 30 years old, according to Luke's Gospel, Luke 3 verse 23. Most scholars concur that Jesus was crucified when he was about 33 years old, after the Lord's public ministry, which lasted for roughly three years. Scholars do not fully understand the importance of Jesus starting his mission at the age of 30, nor do they understand why he had to die at the age of 33. To be very honest, the Bible doesn't explain to us why Jesus had to die at the age of 33. Although some academics hold that 33 was the perfect number, the Bible makes no mention of this. It is preferable for Christians to avoid numerology because it is not helpful and can turn into an idol or a distraction. Some academics feel that 33 is the perfect age for everyone to be when they reach paradise. This is untrue because the Bible doesn't specify our age in heaven or even mention that age will be a factor. Ages were probably included in Luke's account of Christ in order to accurately and historically describe his life. Although it is important for Christians worldwide to understand the significance of Jesus' ages, salvation is not dependent on knowing the precise ages of Christ during his life. The only requirement for salvation is having trust in Christ, Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9. 4. The Eternal Age of Jesus Age will not matter in the new heaven and new earth. 
The Bible does not provide a specific age at which everyone will be. We shall all live forever, thus age will be irrelevant. The perfect age does not exist in paradise. Sadly, the Bible is silent about our everlasting age, but we may be sure that it will not affect how energetic we are or how we will praise the Lord. I think we shall all be happy, healthy Christians, serving the Lord faithfully with all our hearts and brains. The significance of Jesus' age is to demonstrate his deity, demonstrate his maturity, and to offer historical and factual information about his life, ministry, and death. It's crucial to remember that just because there isn't much information available about these years, doesn't necessarily mean that nothing noteworthy occurred during that period. It simply means that there are no precise details provided in the canonical Gospels. The birth, teachings, miracles, crucifixion, and resurrection of Jesus, which are regarded as the central components of his mission, are the primary subjects of the biblical stories. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey through the missing years of Jesus. Their stories remind us of the cost of value of Jesus and inspire us to live out our faith with courage and devotion. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content on the lives of the disciples. May God bless you abundantly on your spiritual journey. Don't forget to check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content. Thank you for watching, and may you be inspired to live out your faith boldly. Until next time, take care.